Hey everybody, it's Deb from Deb's Crochet Cafe. How's everybody doing today? Um, I was going to show you guys how to do the forest stitch. Um, we're going to do multiples of 3 plus 4, which I think I have 25. And you're going to chain 2. And you're going to do go in this third chain from the hook. And... I'm sorry, you're going to do, when you do your multiples of three, add four more, and then after that, you're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook, you're going to do a double, a V stitch, so you're going to do it, but you may, got to make sure that you go through the whole thing where you got only one loop left, here, so make sure you go through that. And you go all the way across and you can pause me whenever you are so you can do that um, go ahead and pause me and I'll see you back at the end right here so your last stitch should be a V stitch in that last double or single or last chain stitch sorry about that and um, I will meet you back then be right back okay once you get that done and we are going to um, <coughs> hang on one second okay sorry about that we're gonna chain two I'm going to do one and two. You're going to turn your work. And you're going to go into the stitch that you skipped. You're going to do a V stitch. And it's one double crochet, chain one, yarn over, and you're going to put a double crochet in that chain two space. And double crochet. You're going to do that all the way across. And I will meet you at the end. I forgot to mention that, um, to go ahead and I'm going to walk you through the first two. Chain one. And then you're going to work a double crochet in that chain two space there. Okay. And then you're not going to chain anything. You're just going to go right in directly into the next, into the next one here. There it is. Now, if you have any questions or anything, just feel free to, at the end of the or the at the end, but the bottom of the video. Um, oh, what did I do, do here? Um, at the bottom of the video, go ahead and put your question down there and I'll answer it as quick as possible. And that, so, there's one double crochet, chain one, another double crochet in the chain two space, there's a second chain. I'm going to put a double crochet in that one. And we're going to finish the rest of that that way. And I will see you at the end. 
Okay, after you do your last stitch, you're going to come to your chain three that you skipped in the beginning. And you're going to <coughs> um, slip stitch and then you're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to turn your work, okay? And it looks like it's this way, <laughs> but then again, it looks like it's that way. So, I want to apologize, um, that last stitch is not a slip stitch. You go into the top of the third of your, cha your chain three, and you do a double crochet, which I did, and I did chain two, and I'm going to turn my work. And what we're going to do is we're always going to work in below one below okay so you're going to yarn over and you're going to do the v stitch again but you if you can get into and that's my problem is i'm trying to get into these stitches here and it's hard to do that especially with a j hook okay let's see here Dog on it. <clears throat> Yarn over. And if it's kind of tight getting in there, just uh, keep turning your hook and it'll, it'll eventually go through. Chain one. And then you're going to go into the next one, which is right here. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you make it go through it. Oh, I did. I forgot the yarn over. Doggone it. Okay, yarn over. Okay, there we go. There's my chain stitch there. Or not my chain stitch. Oh my gosh. <coughs> my V stitch. Let me see if it's got there. Yeah, there it is. There's my V stitch. Alright. Then we're going to go to the next. So we did that one. I'm going to skip that one and go into this one. See your two stitches right there? Yarn over. And that's one. Chain one. Into. I gotta move my camera because apparently my arms are moving, but my camera's not. There we go. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna go into the next chain or V stitch, which is right here. Yarn over. Go into that one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain space, there we go, and we're going to continue this all the way across, okay? So that's what I do is I kind of open the V stitches up so I can see my two. Yarn over. 
go into that one. There we go. And then chain one, yarn over, go to the next chain, double crochet in that one. Excuse me. And then the next one is right here. And double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next. And remember, every time you, right before you're done with your, or right when you're done with your, uh, sorry, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> when you're done with your, um, your row, you always want to chain two, okay? So, that one, yarn over, oh, right there, okay. Yarn over. You're always going to work on the row below. Chain one. I'm going to that one there. Yarn over. Doing a double crochet. So this pattern's basically double crochet all the way around, or all the way through it. And then we're going to skip that, skip that V-stitch. Yarn over, through. Double crochet, chain one. Double crochet. And we're almost at the end. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Chain one. Alright, then same as we did last time, on the top of that chain two. Oh, and a double crochet. Top of that chain two. So we're always going to end, whoop, my stitch is too big. We're always going to end with a double crochet and a chain two, and then we're going to turn our work. Alright. Chain two. One, two. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and have you guys practice this. And next Sunday, we'll see how well you guys did. Okay? Talk to you next Sunday. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Be, be safe, and I will see you then. Thanks.